his young, dashing and dashes around the tennis court as well. <laughs> He's well known for his high speed and endurance on the court. Kei Nishikori has been described as the next Asian tennis superstar, but can the Japanese youngster inspire a new wave of Asian tennis players that can break the European and American stranglehold on this sport? Well, to find out more about the challenges facing Asian tennis and uh, to find out more about this young man himself, we have Kei Nishikori in the studio this morning. Good morning, Kei. Morning, Kei. Welcome to the show. Thank now, you. you left home at age 14 to train at the famous Bollettieri Academy in Florida, USA. Um, yep. What made you decide to look west uh, to pursue your tennis career at age 14? Yeah, um, it was a very important decision for me uh, because I was living country in Japan and there was no one to practice so right. I had in you know, a tough uh, situation and mm -hmm. uh, one guy helps me to go to US uh, that time right, right. so c I kind of I had to go yes for you know yes to get strong yeah but did you know did you say to yourself at 14 years old I want to be a professional tennis player I want to play tennis for the rest of my life I mean I <laughs> I wasn't sure but I was kind of see you know to go to pro and uh to you know to live you know with tennis yeah tell us what it was like at the academy because i mean you're 14 yeah. um, and i'm sure there are a lot of other young boys there also want to be wanting to be top players it must have been very competitive there no it was so many uh rivals uh yeah. a lot of uh, good good juniors yeah. was there at that time and uh there's there's like 50 tennis courts and yeah. uh you can play tennis all day so okay. it was it was tough but I was happy to play tennis all day and to get strong. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I was feeling that you know my rankings goes goes up, yeah. and uh, I was feeling you know, you know to yeah. to get strong. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about your rankings because uh, you were ranked world number two hundred and forty-four, and then you won the Delray Beach yeah. Championship in twenty oh eight. And today you're ranked around seventeen. I mean, we know between you know fifteen and twenty that that kind of changes on a day-to-day -day basis almost. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? You feel like you're near at the peak of your sort of performance? I think so. It's almost there, uh, but it's gonna be a long way to get top ten, you know, top five yeah. from now. But yeah, I was 250 when I was 18, mm. and you know, that time I was uh, still, you know, the amateur mm. mentality. But now it's more. Uh, pro and I'm you know getting okay. stronger so well, you're still young 22 <laughs> so when do you think you will actually hit your peak and what are your goals in the next five years um, of course I want to win a grand slam uh, yeah. and uh, now, now my goal is you know to get top 10 or top mm -hmm. 15 as soon as possible mm. um, you know I need to get more stronger my, my uh, physically and uh, you need to have you know strong mentality but mm, mm. yeah we need to ask you about that because we know in sports like very competitive sports very much a mental game i mean yeah. which which is more important the mental game the physical aspect which do you find most challenging for yourself um it's both important but for me it's more physically yeah. i have a lot of injury uh, i had a uh, abdominal stomach uh, injury this this year I, I lost two months so mm. you know mm. uh, it's a long time isn't it in yeah. the world too. yeah mm. when you stop for too long do you find it very hard to get back into I mean do you, normally how mm. often do you train you train every day for how many hours train almost every day uh, three hours tennis and two hours train mm -hmm. uh, it's not so much but you know you're still hard working hard and okay. uh, uh, yeah. Okay. At the moment, you are the only um, Asian men's player in the top 20. That's quite an achievement. Obviously, you want to hit the top 10. But in the uh, women's, I mean, in China, we've seen um, women break through, Li Na, mm -hmm. Ping yeah. Shui, Sheng Jie. Why is it more difficult in the men's? Is it that much more competitive? Um, I think so. Uh, now it's more uh, tough. Uh, everybody's getting stronger, top 100. And uh, I think we need more you know, star in Asia uh, yes. to people can, you know, believe themselves and... Uh, Do you think uh, that people need to maybe, more Asians need to play it when they're younger or to have academies such as the one that you attended in Asia or what do you think needs to be done to promote that? Uh, that's a tough question because uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, talented player in Asia for sure uh, but I think I was lucky to move US and I had more experience to playing, you know, all the good players and mm. I see all the 
pros, you know, mm. at the academy. I, I was, I knew, you know, what they do and what right. they have to do to get to the top. So. Mm. Okay. so I guess you had an opportunity to go overseas to get more experience and expo exposure, which is a, yeah. maybe a bit more difficult for many of the, the young ones that are still in their own countries. Do you feel that's where Asia is sort of, a, you know, for Asian players who want to make it big, part of it is there are less uh, opportunities, but maybe also mm -hmm. do you find the Asian mindset that your parents, were they a bit, hmm, I don't know if you should play tennis for, <laughs> for a full-time job, you know? Um, maybe, um, yeah, I was, you know, just playing for fun when I was juniors and uh, I start winning the national tournament, like three tournaments in a row. So I mm -hmm. start believing myself and uh, yeah, if you stay in Asia, it's, it's just, just have to go, you know, US or Europe. Okay. It's all the tournaments uh, almost in, you know, uh, Europe and States. Mm, okay, well, uh, we do have some questions from some of uh, your fans out yep. there. We need to ask you, first question, besides okay. tennis, what other sports interest you? I like soccer. I used to play a little bit and I like to watch and... Okay. Well, and then outside of training or playing tennis, what else do you do? What are your favourite hobbies? I play golf. I oh, just play golf sport. two, oh, days, okay. two <laughs> days ago. <laughs> okay, so a lot and of sport food, there. very important. Japanese food, Western food, what's Chinese your, food, uh, what's your favorite food? <laughs> For sure, Japanese food. Japanese food, okay. Oh, okay, and a very quick question too. Uh, this is, I think, from the female fans. What are you looking for in a woman? <laughs> That's a uh, random oh, question. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't mind anybody if, you know, if the people makes me happy. Oh. And you're okay. still single? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, go. <laughs> you just had to ask that. Now back to the serious stuff before you go. Any words of advice for young players mm -hmm. out there wanting to um, be as successful as you have been so far? Um, you know, you need to work hard, yes. first of all. But you need to have a uh, good experience, good, good team around. Mm. And, uh, you know, if you, if you have a you know, good goal in, mm. in your mind, I think you can be, you know, mm. you can be a top. Mm. Okay. But Roughly hard work behind it all. How yeah. many hours of practice do you do a day, may I ask? How many hours? You said about, you said about three, three hours, hours three, three four hours, hours yeah? a day. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, there you Thank go. You so much. that's Kay there, one of the uh, top tennis players in Asia right now, and giving us, uh, sharing us a bit of insights for his personal life and how he got there. Kei Nishikori of Japan and Asia's highest ranked men's tennis player on the ATP World Tour. Ranked number 17 at, oh, yeah? uh, from today, actually.